perhaps. Okay, if you like anime, NGPW is just real life anime. It's incredible, all right? It's it's so, like fun it's so fun to watch. It's so fun to watch. Well, now getting into set one, at least, of Grand Finals with Jake versus Sharp. Already off to a great start is Jake. You have 45% with a singular combo. Mm -hmm. Sharp, though, quick to fire back, getting 38 of his own with that little gun back air combination. And now we're dead even. Yeah, okay. We're going to see uh, what happens as we move forward here. Right now, he's doing a good job of not really letting... Um, Jake have like a whole lot of breathing room, but Jake's also doing a good job of, you know, trying to get Sharp to respect that space. You know, he said, hey man, six feet, we're still uh, social distancing. So, so please, please step back. If you put ketchup on your pancakes, what the hell, bro? I don't know what that has to do with this game, but man, Sharp could be barely missing that up smash. Oh, but we'll get the down air. We'll get the up air after that, but the back air just kind of sent him way off stage. And oh my God, what? Look, oh my how, God. how, Hank, no. Uh, that's all I've got to say about that. But Sharp getting the fair on Jake, popping out of the minecart, secure the first stock. Mm -hmm. So despite his claims that he will cry if this goes to a reset, Sharp certainly is doing his damnedest to make sure it does exactly that, at least with a fantastic start to open up game one. Right, right, right. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely uh, getting a little bit nerve-wracking for uh, for Jake here. And this is something I think people need to, you know, start kind of paying attention to a bit more, right? Is like when you get the lead on Steve, you need to, like, like uh, so Sharp's got some good tools with Joker to, like, kind of poke from afar. But, like, people need to stop trying to continue to push the pressure onto Steve when they get a lead. Like, it's, it's kind of a tough, it's a tough deal anyway. And there we go, losing the stock for it. Honestly, like, there is a, a definite strat against Steve. That shouldn't work, but it usually does. And that's wait for them to get bored of mining. Um, like, they they will reset themselves and condemn themselves to one side of the stage. But at some point, they're going to stop mining and they're going to approach. And that's when you can punish them. Mm -hmm. The onus of approach, especially when you have the lead like Sharp currently does, isn't always on you. You don't have to run up to them while they're trying to dig for resources try and throw your frame data in their face because more often than not something like minecart will win okay well right now man uh sharp continues to do one hell of a job piling on this damage here he actually has not taken oh no he has taken some damage never mind uh i forgot that uh, at the start of this stock jake had 17 percent. that totally threw me off for a sec yeah um getting getting minecart back on a stage but sharp Making beautiful use of gun and then reading the get up option there. Get an F smashing. And he's well on his way to taking game one, especially now with Arsene coming out. A mm -hmm. beautiful fair up smash though from Jake. And he's inches away from closing out the stock himself. More critically though, he's almost completely closed out Arsene and he's done exactly that. Only having taken 23% while the big scary red man was active. Sharp shield starts looking dangerously low, but he doesn't quite get it broken yet, and he's still back in the action, doing a great job. Ooh. That's something that we haven't seen a lot from Jake, uh, or Jeez. from Jake's opponents, is actively trying to avoid minecart instead of trying to challenge it. Or, or sorry, actively challenging minecart instead of trying to avoid it. I completely reversed that. Sharp's been doing a great job of hopping above and using these falling nares to beat out minecart, or even trading with bear. Sharp most certainly comes out on top in these trades. Yeah, no, Sharp's definitely doing a pretty solid job, but again, right now Jake is hitting a lot of damage down, man. We could be seeing a situation. Does he have diamond? He does have diamond, so Sharp does have to be careful here. But if Sharp can find uh, a forward smash from Jake, you know, oh, never mind, Arsene's gone, so we're not going to be able to see that counter coming into play, which would have absolutely decimated the stock. Dude, Jake Rebel is really Guard, looking He could this. get it right back out. Yeah, you know, he could, he could. And that's oh, going to be the stock right there for the forward smash from Jake. Going to close out that game one. Yeah, no. Uh, despite playing from behind for a good portion of that game, Jake brings it right on back and takes it. So, great stuff to him. Now 1-0 in the set. Counter pick is on Sharp. And if I had to guess, I think we're probably going to either run it back because Sharp is a run it back monster. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, right there. Is. There it is. <laughs> you called that right out, man. I don't, yeah, I don't even back. have to speculate on his counter pick. I was, yeah, we're going to run it back. All right. Well, running it right back to final destination. Um, it was looking pretty good, like, for both players for the most part. It kind of really just came down to a last situation. And 
Really, it was Jake who just kind of rose to the occasion. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Uh, it's not as huge as it could have been. Jake did a great job of avoiding the follow-up there. And now, continuing to pour on some pressure of his own. Iron tools out already and looking for diamonds. Sharp rushes right on in with the down tilt, but 75% and Persona's out within 21 seconds of, uh, of the match starting. P Persona coming out, usually a great thing, but when it comes out within 20 seconds of the open of a match, you've done something wrong. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, dude, these guys are really just trading these uh, percentages back and forth, man. Yeah, right now, coming back onto stage. Reading that option, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, getting that F smash, and that's going to close out the stock from Jake. Trying to use down gun to get a little nope. bit of an approach going there, but he's just going to end up landing right on top of that mine cart. Well, there we go, man. Yeah, just kind of dancing around some of these uh, attempts to get some damage from uh, from Jake here. We saw him attempt to grab and just kind of jumped right over him, got that forward air, got a little bit of extra damage on that. So good stuff so far. Oh, jeez, was that a double back air? <laughs> yeah. That was kind of neat. Back here, one back here to bounce him into the block, and then a second one to catch him on the uh, like the rebound. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Now okay. Sharp trying to keep, to keep him stuck at ledge, but Jake does a great job of getting off using minecart, but still doesn't quite do what he wants to get going. And an F smash out of the lag of up B, going to catch Sharp mid dash attack and get an easy, easy kill there. Sharp still has a bit of a lead, but he did last game as well, and then Jake evaporated that too. Let's see what he can do with this one. Oh, okay, big hit. Lots of big hits there. Now, pushing on into this next part of it. Uh, and Sharp's going to get the kill. The down air, back air. Close it out. All right. Oh, there we go. Big old minecart. Not quite going to take the stock, but still, man. That mine, dude, that minecart's really busted. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it's, it's fan friggin' tastic. Um, in most situations, it can be used as a burst option. And in a lot of situations, it can be used to just completely stuff out an opponent's approach. Mm hmm. All right, well, let's see where things go right here, man. Jake is definitely struggling in this game, too. But we saw this happen in game one as well, where. Jake. Oh, there goes the stock right there. 41% now separating the two of them. Yeah, now, like you said, 41% difference. And Jake has the option of, or does have diamond. It has another diamond on board. Sharp needs to be very wary of his potential damage output. Yeah, I mean, he's doing it uh, pretty well. I mean, he's got like 84% on there. Uh, gonna continue to... Oop. Okay, never mind. Here we go. A little bit of an opening from Jake. Uh, wow, 61% done in a single uh, single string. Now Sharp is in a bit of trouble, especially getting caught by F smashes like that. The next one will certainly be his demise. Okay. For that Tetracarn there, but not able to catch it. Whoa, Bounce yep, the block uh, actually doing some pretty crazy stuff on that cart. I thought the cart was going to bounce off the uh, the block for a second and um, <laughs> actually just kind of ricochet back in. And not just hit sharp, but possibly grab sharp. Yeah, but Arsene is gone. Uh, and that takes, like, his biggest kill burst option off the board. And with that gone, it's going to be game two also following the Jake yet again from a pretty big deficit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty rough, man. We were seeing uh, sharp kind of maintaining the lead there. But uh, you know what? Jake just doing his thing, man. <laughs> like, that's what it really comes down to. Five and... He's going and going and going, and that's a 2-0 lead from Jake. But that is the same thing that we saw earlier in Witters. Jake did go up 2-0 in the set before Sharp almost brought it back, took it to game five, but Jake did barely prevail. And yet again, like I said, the run it back monster, Sharp... We're actually, maybe actually going to counter pick this time. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, right now, Jake's kind of in position to get a nice little 3 0. Unless Sharp can find a way to turn this around, man. Uh, he's kind of had like both games under control before Jake just, you know, found like a good forward smash to really close things out. But here we go. We're going to see the switch to Wolf. Usually, when we see a switch to Wolf, there's usually a pretty good uh, turnaround in Sharp's performance. So maybe we'll see it again right here. It's definitely possible, but I disagree with running it back to FD. 
FT seems to be one of Steve's better stages, at least in my opinion, just because he has the ability to almost completely control the layout of it uh, without the option of like platform mobility to get around anything that Steve sets up in terms of walls. Uh, it's it's really his playground, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, using these uh, these blasters uh, right here, just kind of get a little bit of poking damage. I mean, it's not too bad. Okay, whoa! <laughs> I thought he was going to roll behind him. That could have been a really sick stock. Using Steve's own wall against him to kind of continue a little bit of a combo there. That was pretty sick. I like that. Definitely a big fan. Um, right now, back down to the side. And, you know, Jake, pretty big disadvantage. Sharp managing to take the stock with that back air and only 41% on him. That's like the same thing that we saw the last two games as well, which Jake also managed to take. Oh. Okay, a little bit of an up smash right there. But that's the thing is like, even though we're seeing Jake lose the first stock, we've seen this a couple times now already where he'd lose the first stock or maybe go down a little bit and then still ends up winning the game. So I'm not entirely sold on Sharp's performance yet until he, he really starts making another statement. He needs to get possibly another stock or just get a good amount of damage on this one. Good use of Nair to beat out Minecraft, but Jake comes back to stage. Looks for that F smash out of the, uh, the Elytra up B. Not quite going to be able to get it, but both of them are just kind of throwing out F smashes. Sharp, what are you doing, buddy? I think he just wanted to get rid of the crafting block entirely. <laughs> All right. Oh, could have been huge right there, but no, getting caught in the up smash from Jake. But going to answer with a back air of his own. All right. All right. Your stocks to one, but diamond tools on the board. Jake has the potential to make this work. But right now, this is Sharp's game to take. You know what I think the funniest thing is, is I think that if Sharp uh, wins this game, we'll finally see a different stage because Jake will counterpick. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, kind of a bad spot there, but Ooh. okay. Tech saving his life there, but Jake still not, you know, in the worst position. Ooh, okay. Got I don't it. know what's going on with that minecart, but it is what it is. Gonna get a little bit of a DBZ moment there. Both of them gonna hit each other away. And, dude, Sharp's really got to find a way to close out this stock. Going to lose his for that. Just going, extending a little, uh, extending that arm out there with the board smash. And, and Jake's going to take advantage of that. And, again, Jake's in a position to really take this game. I know we're seeing, uh, like, 129% lead for Sharp. But the way that Steve can put out some damage, it could be tough. This could be huge. At the moment, a uh, side B is going to come in. And Jake's going to get an F smash. Don't tell me he still wins this one from this far behind. He misses the F smash, but at 85%, another one of these diamond tool F smashers, or maybe even a back air off the edge. Oh, oh there we Could go. do it, but Sharp going to close it out with a back air of his own. Now, at least on the board in this grand finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, now on the board, I, I said it before, too. Uh, usually when we see the wolf come out, we do see a bit of a turn in his performance, and we saw it right there, which is good. I was a little worried that we were going to see a 3-0. Uh, maybe Sharp had started to give up a little bit or something. I wasn't sure, but we're seeing him compete. We're seeing him put down a, you know, a good beating onto this Steve, but we're going to have to see if he can continue uh, this going into game four. For sure, for sure. And it doesn't look like... Actually, it looks like my prediction did not come to pass. We're not getting the... Uh, not going to get the uh, little stage counterpick. We're sticking to FD. You don't know how long, how much longer you can take this dude. Just... What? <laughs> uh, but okay. now moving on into this next game. We are going to finally see something that's not FD. And we will get the musical stylings of Mr. KK Slider. Once again, Sharp getting baited onto the platform there. And caught by up smash. And a good tech from Jake to escape the follow-up. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Doing a little uh, good job here. Putting down a little bit of pressure onto Jake. Trying to get him to do something. Oh, but Jake, that's actually a huge back here. Just sending Sharp way off stage. This is this is where Steve shines, man. Uh, just kind of building up a little bit of damage and just kind of making the opponent chase him across the stage as he just mines for materials. He's got a lot of stuff that he can set up, forcing the opponent to make some really bad choices. For the Nair there to land back on stage, but not quite going to be able to do it. I absolutely love Sharp's use of Nair to contest Minecart in most situations. It doesn't work out that time as he goes for a back air instead. <gasps> popping out, almost getting caught by the fair for the spike. Back Sharp row. getting yep. punished for that uh, that little random F smash in neutral. Landing on platform and eaten alive by that back, back air. 
Okay. Broken tools, so not going to be able to use those up tilts anymore. And a good spot dodge through the minecart to escape its grasp. Oh, dash attack gonna kill! Yeah, I mean, dash, dash attack from Wolf is pretty crazy. It has a few different, like, hitboxes, sends it a few different angles, but luckily getting the one that's gonna send him straight to the side blast zone. So good stuff, but right now, man, continuing to build up this damage on the second stock. A oh, big back air with the diamond pickaxe. Not gonna be enough, but a second one absolutely will clear that out. Now, Jake with nearly an entire stock lead. Sharp doing his absolute damnedest to bring it back. But it's not looking great for the Wolf player at the moment because 44% is bringing him closer and closer to his inevitable death. Especially with the resources Jake currently has at his disposal, both diamond and gold and a whole bunch of iron to boot. It's a lot of minecarts, that's a lot of diamond picks, that's a lot of just about everything that he doesn't want flying at his face. Going to be in Jake's hands and soon towards his face. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, oh, uh, leave it out, out wood the wood block in front of him. There. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, hold up, you want to try to chase me down? Rock, walk into this Bomb. for me. <laughs> for the Nair to come down, but not quite going to find it. Uh, Jake keeps looking for these, uh... Wow, are they going to do it again? <laughs> See, okay. What, what is this game? Well, hey, the good thing is that he gets to come right down here. Immediately goes in right into the diamond tools. Once again, he had one waiting on deck. Oh, and you know what? Honestly, I think not necessarily anywhere on stage, but a, 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 probably a good coverage from almost anywhere. He could hit that diamond sword and probably take the stock here. But Sharp's starting to wake up here. Wake up indeed, but it could potentially be too little too late. Uh, but it still remains to be seen. It's almost back to even. No way. And wow. No, back air going to kill it. What was that? Like 82. Closes out the game, brings us to a game five of Grand Finals and staring down the barrel of a potential reset. Yeah, That's dude, sharp. Not what I was expecting after games one and two, Skiff. Ah, uh, well, I told you, man. Wolf, it, like, Wolf just kind of, like, changes things around for a sharp. Like, I feel like when sharp's, like, really struggling or just not really able to get anything, ha like, to happen, he just pulls out this wolf and all of a sudden things just start making sense for him. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> Like, it's like he's like he remembers how to play the game like he just it's just straight fundies nothing fancy nothing crazy he just goes man i'm just gonna i'm gonna press buttons at the right time and you're just gonna have to eat it like i don't know what to tell you mr skill and fundies you know but actually it's, it's true mr time. skill and fundies <laughs> is that like a german name <laughs> no that's game and watch uh skill and fundies <laughs> uh that's like that's the technical uh definition of game and watch players They're it's a scientific name <laughs> The scientific name for game for game watch players. <laughs> uh, Skill and Fundius. Skillius and Fundius. Uh, <laughs> game and watch isn't even on our screen. I don't know why I'm talking about Mr. Skill and Fundius. Let's continue to talk about this match. All right. Well, let's see what happens from here. We're back on town in city right now. Again, Jake does have the early lead here, but Sharp starting to make a little bit of a comeback on a little bit. Percentage, you know, still a little bit behind, but still not too bad, not too bad. Someone who says he doesn't want to be here, Sharp sure is doing his damnedest to reset this bracket, looking for that down smash to catch the recovery. Not quite doing it, and almost getting the bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, that down smash looked dangerous. That looked those claws looked real sharp. It's not quite going to do it just yet. Landing with Nair, looking for the dash attack, Ooh. and the spot dodge up smash isn't going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's why the Town and City Blast Zone's coming into play there, but you know what? It is what it is. He will have another opportunity as we move forward. 134. Steve should be dying pretty soon. Relatively light character. Wolf's got a lot of crazy moves right there. The up smash finally going to be able to close it out. Yeah, but Diamond Tools immediately back on the board. Oh, jeez. Sharp stuck off the board. Going to get that fair off stage to close it out. Now, full battle reset at 523. Both are completely even. Mm-hmm. That was a nice little uh, uh, setup off the side, too. It's, it's a pretty consistent one for Steve. You know, getting the minecart, the command grab portion of it, and then just kind of following him off stage with the, the forward air. Because chances are you might just send him to the blast zone. You might get the spike hitbox as well. It's usually a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid confirm for them. All right, let's see what happens as we move forward here. And there we go, another diamond on deck, just in case he loses his stock. All right, now both of them on the verge of taking it, and Sharp does exactly that. 
Hitting him right away. 73% ha definitely has a lot of opportunity for extra credit here. Mm -hmm. That remains to be seen if he'll actually make that happen. Going underneath the block, and Ooh. he will not make that happen because that's going to be a little old F smash from good old Jake. Right, and then take a little bit of a percentage lead here, but still, man, it could be either player's game. Both of them have been trading blows back and forth, but every time this game, it's been Sharp taking a stock first and then Jake following it right up with a stock of their own after that. Yeah, but it needs to be Jake that takes the stock here first if he wants to avoid the uh, the reset. They've both been like starting every stock, like you just said, at 0-0. Zero, zero. They've both been taking it right at the same time with immediate refrags. Now it's going to come down if Jake can finally manage to do it quicker than Sharp for this one time. And one thing that I've noticed, Jake doesn't use TNT ever. Like, at all. I haven't mm -hmm. seen him use it once. Oh. Uh, yeah, actually, that's, that's kind of an issue. I think we've seen, him, we've seen him use it once before. Like, he did do it against Frog, but Frog obviously had no problem dealing with that. So, yeah, that is something interesting. I feel like... I don't I feel like a lot of Steves don't necessarily use TNT as much as like maybe at first maybe it's just not as good of a move as some people think it is cuz I feel Salem like I don't uses, see it. Salem uses TNT a whole lot. I mean, with Salem's it's, also super lame. Like Yeah, that's honest. true, but it it's it's a really really good ledge trapping tool. Yeah, yeah. It, it can be when when set up properly, but here we are, man. 89 to 120%. Both players could be dying very soon. Here we got Diamond on board. Almost going to be able to take the stock right there with that back air. Oh, for the, yep. oh, he's dead. And that's a well, reset. Into two that finals means, uh, we go. That means Sharp's crying right now. <laughs> yeah, I... For someone who wants to go to bed, or for someone who wants to go watch wrestling in their bed, they sure did reset that bracket with a reverse 3-0. Mm -hmm. All right, well, good stuff so far. Getting the reset. Looking good with the wolf. Um, that's a lot of momentum going into this next set. It seems like Jake's like right there, but every time like Jake seems like to kind of have an answer for something, Sharp just like immediately just like, all right, well, it's this the whole time, man. So <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Sharp, I have no idea, dude. It probably says it on the Smash GG page. It's like, what is it? Like 200, $250 if I had to take a guess. That's a good chunk of change. You're already this far, you know, try to close it out. Just reverse 3 0 him. Why not regular 3 0 him? <laughs> $200. Second place Two, gets 100. 200 smackaroo. All right. Well, we're going to see Sharp trying now, according to Sharp in the chat, but it is what it is. Uh, what do you think Jake needs to do differently going into these, uh, going into his grand finals reset? All right. I'm going to say it. Jake, I love you if you're watching this uh, VOD back, but stop mashing. Every single time in disadvantage, he's mashing side B or he's mashing some other supposedly quick option out of disadvantage. Mm -hmm. um, and Sharp is punishing the absolute hell out of it. Right. I mean, that's a, that's a big part, I think, of um, of Sharp's game plan anyway. We, we see how passive, not necessarily passive, but how patient he can be. And I think it's definitely helping him a lot as uh, we go forward here. But there we go. We're going to be getting our next game coming in here very, very soon. I'd like to see the Wolf stick around it's doing very very well you think we're going to be going to town and city to start off mashville that's my guess smashville well either way it's animal crossing we're going to be getting some good music with it that's true that's final destination damn that, that is definitely not either of the things that we guessed i was hoping we were going to get some animal crossing music anyway <laughs> the the other thing uh and we mentioned it during the last set is that yeah, Jake needs to use TNT as a ledge trapping tool. It's it's fantastic to just, you know, prevent at least a specific avenue. Um, mm. It just does a great job of passively cutting off an entire avenue of recovery. And then you can punish the remaining ones. Uh, and Jake is just leaving it completely unused, completely off the table. It's like a hero main not using down B. Sure, they can still win without it, but why would you? We will see, but right now, uh, continues to put on some good damage. The Blaster definitely doing a little bit for him. Remember when, like, everybody thought, like, Blaster was, like, the like the absolute best projectile in the game? Like, <laughs> like people used to complain about it all the time. Uh, I also remember when people thought K. Rule was top five, so let's not talk about that. Well, I mean, a lot of the game was played online at first, and K. Rule was, was kind of crazy at the beginning. He did get a little bit of a nerf. But a lot of that is part of online, you know. 
Sharp going to get grabbed there and brought back to stage with a quick little wolf flash. Not going mm -hmm. to be able to connect with that back air yet, but he Ooh. is certainly looking for it. Not going to get it though quite yet, Jake. Coming back down to stage using that anvil. Oh. The dash attack is going to be the first stock off the board. Mm -hmm. But now we got Diamond on deck here, so Sharp's got to be a little careful. Not to just start throwing out some moves because Jake's going to be looking for a punishment on that. Ugh, got to mash out. Okay. Sharp Tality. What happened there? What? What? He died. That's what happened. Let's yeah, I guess that, that is what happened. All right. Let's see what Jake's going to do from here. I thought he actually shot over the, the, the block at first standing down, but he was still a little bit in the air. That would have been kind of crazy. Getting caught by that fair to come back down the stage of the grab down throw dash attack. That's the, uh, the Steve Classic, and it does a whole lot of damage when you got diamond tools in your hands. Actually, did you see that? Up air from Wolf actually clanked and then went through the anvil. So Sharp managed to get the hit and didn't get hit oh. himself. Oh, whoa! What are you doing, oh. Sharp? Just served that stock right up on a silver platter for Jake to take with that forward smash, man. That was unfortunate. Yeah, no, that... Uh, Sharp's got to be really careful that he's not getting caught by just randy F smashes like that in those situations because... That's been where most most of where Jake's getting his money from is just throwing an option out and Sharp kind of runs into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, let's see where we're going here though. Right now, gonna not be able to take the stock with the back throw. Dude, Jake's actually been doing a really good job of uh, just really just putting down a lot of pressure, a lot of damage, taking some stocks here. And there we go, gonna be able to close it out. Are we gonna see another reverse 3-0 potentially? Please like <laughs> we're already seeing the first the first game go down. Uh, I don't know. Uh, legally, I am not allowed to tell you what the script says. Um, so I'm going to let you continue to speculate. What are you talking about? I have, this, I have the script. I wrote the script. No, you didn't. Sharp wants to go way down. <laughs> right, here we go. Into game two. Let's keep it going, Skiff. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we will be swapping up that stage. Sharp, think about it like this. You get $200 from winning this bracket. That's a whole lot of... What did you say the thing was for Japanese wrestling? The pay-per-view thing? Skiff? Hmm? What did you say the pay-per-view thing for Japanese wrestling was? Oh, it's uh, something something castle. Sharp, yeah. Sharp said it earlier. Castle thingy. You can buy a lot of castle thingy subscription months with that $200. Skiff, you, I, I tried to get you to support me on my analogy there, and you just completely dropped the ball, and now I'm mad at you. Dude, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Power through it. I'm trying, man. This is my second stint of commentary today, man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm pushing. Power through it. I am powering through it. Aren't I? Power I'm still here. I'm just Power. not going to listen to do you say some dumb stuff. But hey, we're seeing the Sephiroth come out here. This should be interesting. Um, I'm not entirely sure. You know, this is also one of the weirdest matchups in the game, too. Just because, like, you see Sephiroth taking on Steve. It's the wildest thing, man. I saw this in, in Roblox two years ago. I'm ahead of the curve. Yeah, you definitely seem like a Roblox player. Yeah, and what about it? Yeah, well, I'm not happy about it. That's definitely one thing. But yeah, uh, game two right now. Uh, Sephiroth uh, from Sharp here. Not really getting a whole lot of damage going right now. Just a lot of suspense in the in the background, especially with this song playing. It's going to keep building in key until eventually one of them takes a stock. Maybe hear the end of the crescendo. Jake right now poised to take it though, and I honestly I question the choice oh. of Sephiroth because sure, he has a little bit more range and he has a little bit more potential for damage in situations like this. But he's also much, much lighter. And with Steve's damage output and Steve's kill potential, <laughs> he could be dying like right right now. He could be. Right. But we'll... right oh right. I'm actually kind of surprised that he actually didn't get the uh the shield poke. But you know what? Good enough, I guess. Uh this could be tough. This could be bad news soon. For either player, honestly. I do think that this game is going to come down to whoever takes the first stock. And it's looking like right now that very well could be sharp, and it is. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Great, and, uh, that nice little kill off stage. But now he's got to find a way to put on some good damage here onto the second stock because, boy, Jake is actually on a, a pretty solid roll for the most part, taking that game one looking pretty strong as well. 
Yeah, for now though, getting those shadow flares on him and his shield is dangerously close Ooh. to popping like a balloon. Just instead going to take the hit, but that's a lot of percent. Now Sharp using that down tilt as a uh, as a ledge trap option. And Jake is stuck here at the ledge. Did you see that? He used the shadow flare to reverse his direction midair without having to actually turn around so he could uh, fare into the side of the stage. That's actually genius. No, it's definitely a really good tool that Sephiroth has. Um, I mean, there's, he's got a few little tricks that he could be doing as well. Oh, I can't believe we didn't see the uh, <laughs> the shield break on that. If he had it charged a little bit longer, probably could have got it. And Oh, and that's going to be the stock there too. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Now with an entire stock lead. Can he hit him through it? Yes, he can. Yes, he can, dude. That's Sephiroth, dude. <laughs> that sword transcends time, space, and anything you put in its way. Catch you lacking on the other side. Now, Sharp looking to take an even bigger lead than he already had. I'm going to catch Jake falling in with Nair back air. He oh, he was inches away from death there. Yeah, I mean... It is what it is, but he's going to be able to make it back. Steve does have... Oh, I thought he was going to be able to push through that shield. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, he's dead from that. I th uh, so Jake's a little bit lucky here. He's got a little bit of an extra lease on life. Got a second chance at it. Throwing out... Oh, that flare could have been disastrous. And he's just slow walking away. Trying to land with Bear. Looking for the roll-in, but does it a little bit too late. Jab going to at least create some space for him. And he just needs one more big old hit. Okay. Ooh, not gonna be able to hit that. But I mean, Steve at 143, you figure he's gonna be dying soon, right? Uh oh. <laughs> Did I say Steve was gonna be dying? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. I just wanted to make sure I, I read the I read the script properly, you know. <laughs> and there it is, the best windscreen in the game. Oh, Sephiroth man. walks into the burnt hopes and dreams of his opposition, bringing it to a 1-1 scoreline. Mm-hmm. Naito has already made his entrance, and Rickles has been timed out, finally. <laughs> Two W's here. <laughs> we get the W from Sharp and the W from 2GG Gaming. I said 2GG Gaming. 2GG <laughs> Gaming. 2GG Two... Two... Gaming. Two good games. Ooh, we had the timeout in Sweet Lou. Woo! <laughs> Three W's. Everyone's getting timed out, man. It's crazy because I do, I do see some people saying some stuff in the chat. I know Sweet I, Lou I has just, tried saying some stuff and not I being very creative. Say. I've seen. Listen, I'm just saying I've seen some of I've seen some of Sweet Lou Smash GG comments and she could be doing a little bit better. <laughs> I, I I just gotta say I do not grind the mod privileges. I am just the humble streamer slash commentator. Let's go. I'm gonna is that is that JMX on the on the account? Let's go JMX. Let's go JMX. JMX is a homie, man. AK All cruising, right. baby. It's Sharp honestly such a that, great song. Yeah, Sharp going for that dash grab right there, but not quite able to connect with it. Now? Jake getting that grab while Sharp was mid-charge. Uh, not gonna let him get that flare off. Hashtag don't free rickles. Alright. Okay, here we go. Gonna see where things are going here. Right now, that's a, wasn't a huge hit, but still just put a little bit of extra damage. But now the problem is, is that we got Sephiroth with that one wing angel mode coming out here. Could potentially be a problem. Oh, okay, good back here. Yeah, really good landing option there from Sharp. And using the uh, the extra jump to its fullest capacity to just delay himself a little bit longer in the air. And Jake was trying to read a roll away. That was a scary situation for both of them. Mm-hmm. Back throw. Yep, gonna just put him right off stage here. He does have diamond on deck too, so this could be very dangerous. Uh, is he gonna? No, I don't think he's gonna use it. I think he's just waiting to die here. You think he'll pull it out now? I, I don't know. No. I, I, it's just not worth it. Unless he breaks his current tools, I don't think there's like any more of his current tools. I don't think there's going to be any cause for it to bring out, especially with Sharp like being. So close to taking the stock right there with the F tilt. Mm -hmm. Now, in this situation, Sharp getting caught by the double hit. How much damage was that? Holy it's crap. Like, I don't know, but it's looking like Gordo when Gordo gets those random double hits. Oh my god, big back here. 
Oh, this is definitely a Jake stock right there. Gonna be able to blow up that second stock of town. Was that a zero? To that wasn't a zero to death, right? Uh, yes, it was. It was. I think. I don't know. <laughs> it was definitely a lot of damage without any sort of retaliation. But here we go. Uh, Sharp definitely back on top of it. Great down tilt into a back air. Oh, was definitely looking to close out that stock. Jake looking for the F smash as usual, but actually going to get caught by that second charge flare as they come back to stage. Mm -hmm. So now in this situation, it's actually a lot more even than it may look, especially with one wing out. Sharp has the opportunity to do a whole lot of damage and not a whole lot of time, but Jake certainly looking to prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. uh oh, Boom. All right. That's a big old forward smash going up 2-1. Sharp definitely has to make some sort of move now if they want to keep this going. Otherwise, we could potentially be seeing the end of the, not just the set, but the whole tournament right here with Jake being the victor. So let's see what tricks uh, Sharp's got in the bag. One game or two games, the length of the, the reigning length of this set is going to be telling on who is our victor. Sharp definitely looking to take home the $200 for his troubles, but Jake also has his eye on the bag. Mm-hmm. And it looks like Sharp might be switching up characters once again. I wouldn't put it past him. Maybe out comes the ZSS. We haven't seen the ZSS versus Steve yet. But no, going back to Wolf in this situation. So, now, back to the Wolf. I wonder if we're still on TNC. No, back to FD, where we've seen many a game play out this set. And yeah. Sharp and the Wolf the coming back out, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I said that, Skiff. Come on. I'm just saying the Wolf coming out, too. Jeez. Skiff, how dare you? It's fine. You'll be, you'll be okay. Mm, right. Yeah, I will. You're right. Jake looking to open it up with those up tilts as... Per usual, but not quite going to get the job that he wants done. And Sharp off to at least a little bit of an early lead with that 27-32%. Now, yeah, it's a uh, building. It's definitely been something, man. Um, really just wants to spam laser here, I guess. I I don't know, dude. By the end of this stock, laser is going to do like 0.5% because it's going to be so stale. Sharp, what are you what are you doing? Ah, uh, you know, sharp, sharp doing some sharp things. I, I, I think, I think sharp might, might honestly be done. Like, but the crazy thing is, like, if he's done, I don't know why he's extending it by just shooting lasers. You know, <laughs> he's just gonna laser, bro. Yeah, that is it, true. It like that sometimes. Okay, well, I mean, hey, for all those. Backwards? Yeah, all those lasers he shot, really only putting down like 37% before he started getting a couple extra hits. And Jake actually putting down a pretty good amount of damage. Got these diamond tools out as well. Could be finding, not be finding, but could be looking for a way to kind of close out the stock. Oh, geez, that could have been huge. Oh, my God. Speaking Sharp of is ways here. to close out the stock that are huge, Sharp gets that down smash at ledge to kill early. Jake not too far off of a kill himself, at least if he gets iron tools on the board, which he's probably going to be looking for in just a second, or maybe he'll even do it like this. Mm -hmm. Almost catches Sharp with the down smash, but is turned the incorrect direction. I think Still he didn't have thinking. the, uh, cause what, if you do the down smash off stage, it kind of drops down a little bit, right? Uh, no, that's, that's down tilt. I thought down smash does it as well. No, the, the lava uh, stays on, on bubble. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now looking for right. the grab, but not quite going to do it just yet. Sharp looking for one of these F smashes to catch Jake's landing. And honestly, it it looked like it was dangerously close to doing just Ooh. that. And yeah, there's that uh, that down tilt to do a little bit of damage and pop Sharp right off the ledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, but right there. 139 to 92, three stocks to two. Going to be able to get out of there. We're not going to see the... Uh, wasn't wasn't SD last time, but I do remember we saw him fall into the cart, mash out, and then he just kind of didn't recover. <laughs> I, was, I think that was more of a, I give up. You can have this one. <laughs> Back here, though, going to take the uh -oh. stock and sharp up 3-1. to one, Still we're not, we're not, dude, we're not We're not going to see a three stock, right? We're not going to see that. I don't know. It's up to you, Skiff. We might be seeing it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Going to dodge that grab attempt. And just going to put down some more damage with these lasers, dude. What is going on, dude? Sharp is such, like, an anomaly sometimes, I swear. Uh, I think the best way to... Oh, uh, okay. For a second, I thought he might have been dead. Uh, but the best way to describe Sharp's playstyle is with those two words. Sharp's playstyle. Really... <laughs> yeah. That is a fair point, fair point. Laser spam is doing its job here. Sharp still alive at 170% looking to oh, end it all. No and uh, just that, game four, gonna be a three stock. Now we move into game five. Dude, I don't really know who has the momentum here. Like, I'm gonna just be honest. <laughs> like, it makes no sense what no we're seeing one. right now. Skiff, I have the momentum. You have the momentum. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. Guys, guys, really quick. Um, I don't know if they're going to wait, so I thought I'd say this because I played it in the Smash.gg chat. Uh, real quick, honestly, I know I'm not going to talk about myself, but I definitely want to say super huge thanks to Lass and Skiff for doing commentary tonight. But also, thank you so much for all the casters this past weekend. Honestly, it has been great to work with everyone from Ajax to Duramgar to Fro to Z bringing Z-Fly back, who's been literally almost semi-retired. Uh, I want to thank every one of the casters who was a part of this event this weekend. Honestly, it means a lot to me because I am I would have loved to have casted Grand Finals, but having Last and Skip do the work and watch everybody be a part of it is honestly great. So let's get into it. I'm going to leave you guys to do it. So getting into this game, it looks like Sharp is going to be keeping up that winning game plan from the previous game, and that is just shoot laser after laser. 37% mm -hmm. built up, and hey, it works. It works. All right, well, let's see where things go from here, man. Town and City going to be the final stage. There goes KK Slatter. Goodbye. 43%? Uh, I mean, <laughs> he's definitely just, he's definitely playing the game. Uh, that is one thing I can tell you for sure that is he happening is, in this set. He, he, he do be do, pushing that B button. Yeah, say he do be pressing buttons. <laughs> now, landing oh, with man. more buttons. 61% built up almost purely by laser and sharp. Still hesitant to approach. I, I don't know oh, what else man. to say about this. He do be pressing the B button. I mean, hey, there's two things we could be saying about that. He do be pressing the B button. And we could be seeing a sharp tally here if he's finding he finds a way to, to take this whole tournament, man. <laughs> like... This has definitely been a, a sharp bracket for sure. Like there's moments where he just looks like he gives up. He plays 17 different characters. And then there's all of a sudden just goes, okay, I'm going to try. And then like, I don't know, man. I, I just don't know what happens to this. And it is mine sometimes. He will try. <laughs> Dude, it's definitely something. It's definitely something. Looking for that F smash and going to find it. But Sharp still has a little bit more to play with this stock. Jake Ooh. not going to be able to get the diamond tools out yet as Sharp oh is playing God. gatekeeper in front of this crafting table and going to take him down nice and nice and quick with that back air sharp with the lead see what he can do with it that's that what remains to be seen and but i i think i have a fair idea and that idea is laser mm -hmm. okay Ooh, Ooh, getting caught by anvil I mean, yeah, but like, even if it's getting caught by MC, now this is the situation that we kind of saw earlier with Frog, where Frog probably could have won this set, but what happened is they took a nice lead and then decided to engage with Jake. And Jake, was it was like a reverse three stock, right? Yep, that that game will haunt my nightmares. <laughs> that, that was such a, such a weird game, man. It was so strange. It was such a Bayonetta game. <laughs> Uh, but there is no Bayonetta on our screen. We instead right, right. have Enderman versus Wolf. And, mm -hmm. again, Laser. Oh, big old stock, though. Uh, Sharp tried to, you know, get a nice little up air there, but going to be just in range for the back air from Steve and going to fall into the mine cart. Oh! oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Footstool looking for the back air off of it, going to get... Oh, I thought for sure that down smash was going to hit. Doesn't quite do the job, but Jake in an awful position right now. Sharp can't get the, not grab, get the grab, Yeah. That sucks. We talk about Pikachu pancaking. I know people talk about that a lot, but let's talk about the pancaking from Steve. This dude is literally two blocks wide, man. And just absolutely just laid down and just said, nah, I'm not going to let you touch me. <laughs> now getting caught by fair up smash. Going to do quite a bit of damage, but Sharp still with Nair to come back down. Looking for this back air to close out the stock. Mm-hmm. Try to get it back here from Jake, but not going to be able to get it. Or at least not going to get the strong hit on it. Yep, just going to put him off stage with that back throw. And 
more more lasers i think really the lasers are doing their job beautifully because their purpose as jake takes that stock mm -hmm. isn't damage they're there to stagger steve to be a threat in the neutral to prevent uh prevent him from doing a whole lot of extra mining um and they're serving that purpose beautifully going to get the down throw right there and looking to close out the stock soon Dash attack can't do it, neither can. Yes, it can. Never Dash mind. He gets it that it. time. Well, Dash attack can't I know. do it when he misses. I know, he, I know. But it's it. just like, but the thing is, it's like if I was to clip that right there completely out of context, it's just Dash attack can't, Dash attack can't do it, dies. <laughs> That's just, it, was it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. I do be commentators cursing. Hey, uh, we, yeah, dude, we definitely do be commentators cursing. <laughs> All right, well, let's see you. Uh, Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see what happens as we go in here. Looks like we're getting a bunch more laser stuff. Some freaking bunch lasers. Laser stuff. Bunch more laser stuff, but a bunch more fares too. 41% built mm -hmm. up. And Jake is scared. You can see from him retreating the platform right there. Oh, that could have been a the huge best time. Yeah. There is two it's minutes left on the clock. I don't think we're going to see a timeout, but uh, I do think Sharp has no problem just taking his time here. He's firing his laser. God, dude, that meme is older than you. Like, yeah, I swear to true. God. That, that makes me so... Oh, he's... Ooh. Oh, gets punched right in the gut. Hit with a back air to boot. Coming back down to stage with that anvil, but he is in trouble. 83% mm -hmm. means that a good, well-placed back air at ledge will close out this entire... Woo! I mean, so too will an F smash, at least if it's placed like that. Are you ready for a sharp tality? Sharptality? Sharptality? No, no Sharptality. Sharptality, sharp -tality, baby. <laughs> I can't believe we went through all of this with Sharp being like, dude, I just want to watch wrestling. I just want to lay down. Goes 10 games. I, dude, I can't stand. I'm, I can't stand him sometimes, man. <laughs> Sharptality. That's going to be it. Uh, sharp is going to take the Smash GG ladder. <laughs>